and it's going to do some like. So, why this? Um, because we started finding friends and research and practice in common across uh, first the UK and Canada. And, uh, and I say we, but really was first Quigger and uh, Quigger representatives and uh, the wonderful Kelly O'Brien and others who started seeing the commonalities and and uh, and connecting, you know, with people like Will Techwin and um, and Simon in in England, and then we've brought into the fold uh, and and happily so um, Ireland, and we'll introduce one by one the speakers after and. Uh, the U.S. as well. So I think eventually it's a matter of time before we call it the Commonwealth, you know, collaborative because it's, it's, it's important uh, for us that you keep on finding points, so points of entry into the collaborative and finding things to do together. Uh, we think there are commonalities and that our differences do not separate us but actually uh, behoove us to work together and I think that's the most important aspect of that. And, um, and again, no one is against the idea of visiting the beautiful lands of UK and uh, Ireland and the US. So there's another important reason uh, in finding all the talent that there is there in the field of um, rehabilitation. Now a word about rehabilitation and episodic disabilities in the context uh, or HIV in the context of episodic disabilities. I know the language is what we manage and it sounds a little bit foreign to folks out there, um, but it's important to remember that uh, we're doing this because we are past in the history time of, although we still have a lot of people with great needs and needs emerge and challenges emerge, we're at the point, and I think Kirk was really created uh, to look forward with a great deal of optimism to work for uh, people like ourselves, some of us uh, here living with HIV, who believe uh, that we believe in practice a full life. And uh, the, the detail, the, the devil is in the detail. So to do that, you know, in order to climb those stairs, to cook our meals, to have our successful relationships, to have our social inclusion, we still need your help. Right, so we did the we did one major thing, which was like we got people out of dying every day. We have the 80s and the 90s. We have to look forward, and I think in this sense we've been tremendously prophetic and um, tremendously progressive. And we do that by being interdisciplinary, intersectoral, by making friends, by making friends with our funders, by making friends with our policymakers, and even our politicians. And uh, so that's very important. That's the reason we're here. Does it all make sense to you? Is it it's all, it's okay? Um, I think I didn't tell you about domestic stuff. Home, the, the home, uh, yeah, the bathrooms. Kelly saying the bathrooms. So the bathrooms are down there. You know, don't suffer through anything. So we have incredible interpreters, sign interpreters. Um, and uh, thank you for being here. And we have, if you feel terribly bad, I have to let you know that I'm an assiduous and avid user of the emergency room across the street. They're wonderful people. It's an inner city hospital. It doesn't look good, but it's the best service you can get. If you're HIV or not, go there. They'll be fantastic. They know me by name. <laughs> so I can give you a little card that says, oh, I'm sending this friend of mine. You treat them well. Literally, you just walk out and go in there, and they'll treat you absolutely fantastic. That's the beauty of it. So you know where the essential services are. Uh, media, you can talk to Janet, you can talk to um, Ryan and Patrick, you can talk to Kelly and I and Elise and NCAM and we'll help you with all other things. All right, and we're at this point in which I have to introduce Oh, they have, they're conferring a little bit. Okay, we have to introduce the amazing executive director and, and friend of mine from the Canadian Working Group on HIV and Rehabilitation. We've worked together. We've been in so many bad hotels, <laughs> in a good way, <laughs> doing this. I know, it's not appropriate. I just realized TMI. But, you know, doing, doing work 
and the amazing Kelly O'Brien, who are going to give us an overview of the Canadian Working Group in HIV and Rehabilitation, the key research priorities, uh, the introduction to the collaborative, and the goals of the forum. So a big applause for them, please. Thank you.